The UFC is a truly international organization with fans from every region on earth. And as a mixed race Canadian, whether you like it or not, I am the best person to rank UFC fan bases by country of origin. Where are the Mexicans at? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Normally, I would save the S tier for last, but we're just going to start out with the best in this video. Kyrgyzstan, number one. Kyrgyzstan, number one. Best fans I've ever encountered. Let's just get this out of the way. This is a subjective tier list based on my personal interaction with fans. This might differ from your own, but obviously everyone's going to have different interpretations of best fan bases. You feel me? I'm going to provide reasons and why Kyrgyzstan is S, probably S, S plus tier fan base. Super humble, super polite, super supportive fans. They ride very hard for their Mictelbik Orobai, their boy in the UFC, shout out Orobai. And they are just nice in general. Like a lot of fans will be like, my fighter's definitely way better than your fighter. But these guys are just very humble. You know, they'll even say stuff like, Orobai is not even close to the best fighter from Kyrgyzstan. He's just the first. Like, we have so much more to offer. They're just very humble. They want to showcase their skills on an international stage. And they are uh, far from a toxic fan base. So why don't we jump to a toxic fan base? Why don't we start out with an F tier fan base? South Africa. Uh, where do I start? Casuals really mean really mean people okay um uh, harass to the level of harassing okay you say a couple things about Drickus Duplessis kissing his coach and these guys won't leave you alone they just spam comments on your channel uh they don't even know like the this is the funniest thing too is like they don't even know the record I remember one time I was having an argument with the South African guy about how Peyton Talbot was gonna beat the brakes off Cameron Simon and this guy didn't even know first of all the age of Cameron Simon he didn't know his record he didn't know how many fights he had in the UFC and he also didn't know the same things for like Drickus like these guys don't know the stats they're just casual as hell dude uh, this is specifically Offer Connors yeah shouting out calling out Offer Connors specifically here and, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. F tier, F tier fan base. Let's move on up to a D tier fan base. New Zealand uh, sucks for the most part. They suck. Arrogant, uh, snooty, you know, totally like they're like the opposite of Aussies, which we'll get to later. Uh, they just suck, man. Constantly sniffing their own farts. They're fart huffers. New Zealanders are fart huffers. Self fart sniffers, dude. They're all like atheist dogs. You know what I mean? And obsessed with like, they all LARP is Maori. They'll, you'll like, make a joke about the Maori and they'll like take it, like they'll get butt hurt about it. But it's a guy with blonde hair and blue eyes going like, I'm, you know, 129th Maori and you have offended me. It's like, shut, get the, hey, blah, hey, jit, shut up, okay? And let's move on up to a, let's do Australia right now. A tier, they're goaded fans. Yes, they're not the smartest people. They're not. They're really funny for the most part. They're chill. They're laid back. They can take jokes about themselves, about other things. They're just kind of stupid as hell and just like having a good time. So another fan base that are, for the most part, really chill, but they do have more like crazy People. It's obviously the United States fan base. I'm gonna throw them in here as like a B tier fan base. There are plenty of goaded. Like if I had to subdivide the United States fan base, I would say like Chicanos, definitely an A tier uh, fan base. But you know, <clears throat> some people just be tripping in the United States, dude. And they're like, it's a big country and it's obviously the biggest fan base. Like for example, my analytics on my channel, like around like 40% of my, my views come from the United States. So I'm gonna throw them in here at a B tier. They're a very diverse fan base. They're very well represented though. So, you know, tons of funny, chill dudes from the United States. 
and uh, tons of like great, great fans from the United States, but obviously a lot of crap fans too, right? But I do think B tier is a fair placement uh, for my Americans. All right, let's move on down to a C tier. This is I'm just gonna we'll speed through Mexicans here. All right, they're a newer fan base, a little bit less represented. You know, most of the Mexican fans are actually Chicanos. Okay. Goated fans, like I said again. Uh, there's definitely some Mexicans, but not a crazy amount, right? Like, we got way more Brazilians, for example, um, which are a good fan base. So I'm just going to throw Mexicans in here at C tier. They still have to prove themselves as fans. C tier is a fine ranking. It's like, either unproven, I don't really know much about you, I haven't interacted much with you guys, whatever. Like, no ne- nothing too negative, nothing too positive to say. Brazilians, on the other hand, a lot of people don't like them. A lot of people will place them probably at D tier or F tier. Uh, I like the energy from the crowds. Yes, like, disrespecting Glover and stuff like that and walking out on him. But there's other times where they're there till the end. So it's like, they're, I'm not going to hold them too much for some of those more disrespectful moments. And I love when they chant stuff at the fighters. Like, they go really hard for their their fans. Now, however, even guys like Money Morcano and these Brazilians will say that Brazilians don't really care about their athletes. And you can see that by the way they will like attack their own soccer teams for like losing a game. And the fact that all these Brazilians do move to the United States at the end of the day. Um, I'm going to put them in at a C tier though, because they're not as bad as these D tiers, which let's just talk about a D tier for a mo- another D tier for a moment. United Kingdom. Hey, talking about fart sniffers. The United Kingdom. Talking about people who... Uh, are you... Hey, gay for Tom Aspinall. Got a little man crush on Tom Aspinall, don't you guys? Can't take any... Uh, can't take a little bit of banter, as you would say, about Tommy Boy. Can ya? Alright? It seems to be some weird double standards here, because Tom Aspinall's not even British. So it's one thing for, like, the Kazakhs or the Uzbeks or... The Americans or Brazilians to ride for one of their own. Uh, Tom Espinal's mom, most likely pregnant in Poland, came over to the United Kingdom, bamboozled his dad into raising him. Oh, oh, you guys are going to get all, oh. Watch them cry about that. And it's a fact, bro. Where's the support for Leon Edwards, who's from a Commonwealth country like Jamaica? You guys draw some weird distinctions there, don't you, Brits? Very funny, compared to the Brits, the Irish are a great fan base. Easily an A-tier fan base. Can take jokes about themselves all day long, make jokes about themselves all day long. Very passionate, supportive fan base. They typically, for the most part, get behind their boys. Now, some of them, I think, have a little bit of a issue too much with Ian Gary. Like, they, they, they take uh, too much of an issue with Ian Gary. When I've realized it's actually from a place of jealousy. I heard, shout out Mogwonk Zerg Zerg, up and comer. Uh, streamer and uh, content creator and in the MMA space. Check him out. I'll put his link in the description. But he was even saying, I, he was on like some rant about Ian Gary about how why couldn't Conor McGregor walk into my gym and sponsor me? And I've realized at the end of the day, all these guys are just jealous of Ian Gary. Like, yeah, you, he's like the, he's not like the coolest guy. I wouldn't want to hang out with him, but he's not like representative of Ireland. Uh, but the Irish are chill. Funny. Lots of Irish. Support my channel. Watch my channel. I've had great interactions with the Irish. Very few, if any, negative interactions with the Irish. Solid A-tier fan base. Now, I want to talk about the Uzbeks for a second. Some of these Central Asian fans are very new. We're just starting to see some of their fighters get bigger. You know, uh, uh, Shafkat Rachmanov, New Sultan Ruzaboyev, Miktobek, Orobai. We've already talked about Orobai, and I think the Kyrgyz are S-tier, undeniably. These Uzbeks are kind of bugging, jit. What's with the monkey emojis on Walking Buckley's stuff, dude? What Walking Buckley ever do to you? They're crazy, and it's really weird because like the Kurjas don't do they don't do that. Like I, I don't think I'd you'd see the Kurjas do that at all. They're way too respectful, humble, and stuff. But these Uzbeks are bugging out. No, I don't like. It is what it is, and it's from a place. It's coming, I guess, from a good place of patriotism and support. I'm going to rank them as a C tier. They are new and they still have to prove themselves. They are proving themselves in an interesting way. And you can kind of compare that to the Kazakhs. Um, I think the Kazakhs are kind of really similar to them. And they do just quite a lot of flag spam. And I guess I don't respect flag spam. I don't respect places. It's like if you're from in between, I don't know, like Serbia and 
Basically, Kazakhstan in that area, they just flag spam, flag spam, flag spam, and it's crazy. So I'm going to drop the Kazakhs in C tier as well, proving themselves as, like, spammers. And uh, not like the Kurjas who take the time to type stuff out. A very nice little messages. So once again, shout out to my Kurjas. Speaking of flag spammers, you know who's another flag spammer, but they shouldn't be doing it, is Armenians. They speak perfect English. First of all, they're all from California or like New York or Miami, right? Like they don't live in Armenia, all right? And then they'll like whine. They'll be like, why is my land being stolen in Armenia by the Turks or the Azerbaijans? And it's like, uh, you left it and you run a perfume shop in Glendale. California. Okay. Vacant property, buddy. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Fact of the matter. Also, Armenians cannot take a joke. And glaze, 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 glaze. Also, why are they so obsessed with Armin's flexibility and stuff? Weird. Weird. Sus. Um, can't take a joke. Uh, glaze. Basically, like, act like Armin's is, like, best fighter in the world simply because he's Armenian. And it's, like, even, like, other fighters, like, the Kyrgyz will be, like, Aurobai's not the best fighter even from Kyrgyzstan. And then they'll, but they'll be, like, these guys will be, like, Armin's so good, man. So flexible. Have you seen Armin's hips? So flexible. I just want to spray perfume on him and put jewelry on him. Get with it. F plus tier, Armenia. Listen, I'm speedrunning a bunch of European countries right now because I don't have that much to say about them. Like, first of all, Russia, uh, for the most part, pretty chill. Like, I'll subdivide the Muslim trolls out of Russia, which are going to play funny. Hey, let's just talk about them for a second. Muslim trolls. Hilarious. The guys who roast the Conor McGregor, Conor McTapper. Haha, ha, lo how you know I Khabib fan, brother? You know the, how you know I Khabib fan, brother? Uh, Ibn Abraham Muhammad Jihadi. Trolling Patrick O'Leary from Ireland, I enjoy it all day long. And, I've, and just like I said earlier in the video, I've never really had that much negative interaction with these guys. Not any more so than, like, <laughs> way less so than New Zealanders. So I'm going to throw them in at a C tier, uh, along with, like, just general Russians. I'm going to throw in at C tier. I'm going to throw Canada in at C tier. I'm going to throw Germany in at C tier. I'm going to throw Spain in at the C tier, Portugal, bunch of them. Hey, if your country wasn't listed here, I'm putting it at C tier. So don't whine about it in the comments. Oh, Rigo forgot to mention my country. If I didn't mention it, it's a C tier. All right. Now let's talk about a D tier, the Netherlands. Sorry. Sorry. A lot of chill guys from the Netherlands. A lot of dorks. A lot of dweebs. A lot of whiners and fart sniffers. Man, a lot of people who think they're smarter than they are from the Netherlands. I've had... So many arguments and bad interactions with someone and they find out, oh, they're from the Netherlands. Who would have thought? Who would have thought this atheist dog, uh, you know, is from the Netherlands? So, who would have thought this condescending douchebag is from the Netherlands? This guy now is pretty much starting to realize you're probably from the Netherlands if you act in a certain, like you act like a dick prick. And you speak in really good English. They speak really good English, the, ne the Dutch. Uh, no, there's a lot of chill Dutch too, right? But they're, guys, real in the, the douches. Italians, on the other hand, speak really bad English. Super chill for the most part. They're kind of still obsessed with Mussolini. Funny thing I've kind of learned about them is they have this, they're kind of stuck in the past, which there's nothing really wrong with it, but they're like, they're really living in the past, the Italians, and there's nothing wrong with that. I like them. Um, they support the the MMA community and they support their guys like Marvin Vittori and, and stuff. So we'll obviously just throw them in here at B tier, but I've had more interactions with them than say the Spanish. The Swiss are another people I've had more interactions with, uh, weirdly enough, because they're a small country and they're very pleasant fellows. Very pleasant fellows. Um, speak good English. Nice. I'm going to throw them in here at B tier as well. I'm going to throw them in here at B tier as well. And the French, very pleasant, very nice, pleasant fellows. B tier, easy. And they're great fans, actually. They're a really great uh, crowd. Which I'm assuming, though, so would be some of these other countries that I'm talking about here. I'm sure the Swiss would, 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 uh, would, uh, well, maybe not. But I don't know that much about Switzerland. Anyway, the, the French are great fans there at the end of the day. And so are, like, the Poles. I'm going to throw them in here at B tier, too. The Polish uh, people from Poland, they're a little bit crazy. They're crazy 
But to chill, I I want I can't wait till they go back to Poland because I bet you they uh they put on they'd have a really good crowd as well. A lot of you probably actually don't know this, but some of the people well actually I'm gonna say this like 90% of the people saying like racist stuff to you in MMA YouTube comments, um from whatever direction. They're Indian. This is real what I'm saying right now. So like certain Indians will be like very obsessed with like Brits and British culture and like um that stuff and they go very hard in one direction to the point that they'll have like some you know alt account like you know smoker to 2069 and they will be basically spamming monkey emojis on Joaquin Buckley's Instagram and then from the other side there's Muslims uh, Muslim Indians right and stuff who, go, who are typically the ones who are actually like the hardcore Khabib and the hardcore those ones because like other ones like i've said earlier like for the most part those guys are pretty respectful and they can be funny or whatever but uh it's indian trolls that are ruining your experience on youtube just so you know okay there's plenty of nice indian guys too they're also like british indian so you know what i mean a lot of them are just like british indians american indians indian indians kuwaiti indians indians are the, like next time you get mad just remember that like it's probably an indian guy uh basically just trolling you or larping role playing so don't take it too deep i'm gonna play india here at d tier though for that reason and um i think i have a couple more countries to talk about obviously like i said again i'm gonna forget a lot of countries but i don't have that most to say about every country on earth like china i don't have any i actually don't have anything to say about china there i don't think they're even allowed on youtube right so the only chinese i'm interacting with would be like expat chinese or maybe taiwanese um which <clears throat> chinese taipei you mean here we go i see tier just because i don't know that much about them nigeria they're, they're chill they're starting to make a name for themselves i've had some nigerians comment on some of my history videos because i did some izzy history videos and for the most part they're actually very very chill um but once again a little bit unproven here so i'm gonna drop them in here at c tier uh, once again, any other African countries, like, you know, I think I've talked to some Tanzanians in some of my comments on my history videos and Angolans and stuff like that. Sorry, just not the most representative. So um, if I do forget your country, you are a C tier. Don't take it badly. C tier is just unproven or, you know, at the mid right now. Uh, country like Japan, though, would fall into C tier as well. I don't interact with Japanese. I don't speak English that much. Um, I have like one Japanese guy who follows my channel and just super chats random like little emojis of like cats or mustaches but he never types in the chat so i don't know and the last a tier i have are scandinavians you thought i forgot about you guys nope nope great fans at the end of the day which is weird because they're like very similar country to the netherlands or new zealand right highly educated great english speakers often very irreligious right or atheistic like agnostic people but Respectful, humble, nice, funny, very funny. There's some really funny Swedes um, who comment on the channel. I think, uh, what's his name? Anthony Smith's Home Invader was from Sweden, right? Or maybe Post Beak Break Ortega, some goaded members, uh, ch chatters in my chat. I can't remember. Maybe I'm mixing up. But um, I know one of those guys is from Sweden. There's a bunch of great guys from Sweden and Norway, Denmark, Finland, right? Uh, I'm counting all of that as Scandinavia. I don't think I've had any Icelandic or Greenlanders uh, comment on my channel or come into my chat. But hey, if I forgot your country, comment below. Start giving me a present and a reason to mention you in the next version of this tier list. Maybe I make next year. All right. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. And if you don't want to miss a single thing, turn the bell notification on. So the Pharisees are on me. They're behind me. They're throwing stones at me right now. We got to dip. We got to get out of here right now. Demon possessed man on my right. I'm praying over him right now. He's cracked. He's cracked. I'd like to give a big thank you to all my channel members. Without you guys, the channel would not be possible. And a special thanks to my Lions here members. I appreciate each and every one of you. Demon Bobby. Demon Mommy.